Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some more Ace Attorney. October 19, 3.27pm, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Uh, we're on day three of the investigation of Turnabout Samurai, so we're getting close to the end. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad, I'm sorry I missed it. Hmm? M Maya? So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive. And proof. Wow, good going, Nick! Under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So when did that system trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? You know, before I started voicing this, I didn't notice people keep saying steal the steel. Like, they say it a lot in this case. And I hadn't noticed it all until I tried to voice it. Steal the steel. What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah, but, but Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why would he go through the trouble of stealing it? That's what we have to find out. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear that the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Huh. Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was Studio 2, where that trailer is. What? Hmm, was Maya always this excitable? Yes, she was. Yes, Nick. Well, have you noticed anything that might help us? I can't see what's going on when Mia is here, so no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go talk to WP? WP. Powers. Right. So, um, that pretty much recapped the previous trial segment because Maya missed it. That was kind of helpful. <laughs> October 19th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today, thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yes, and so there's not really anything I can do to help. Haha, <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. Can you tell me more about Miss Vask? I think it's Vask. It could, it could be Vasquez. Vasque? Vas... I don't know how you would tend to pronounce it. Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oops. Oh, and... And? What? N nothing Forget it. I... I only heard rumours, anyhow. Hmm... Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director. But something in his work caught Vask's... But Vask... Vask... I'm just gonna say Vask, because I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce her name. Caught Vask's eye. She brought the steel samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. Gross. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. I can imagine him being at a Beckett call, although I can't imagine him jumping. Phoenix, that's not funny. He's, he's, he's fat, that doesn't mean he can't be athletic. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh. 
Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. And that's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. There's a lot of tongue twisters in this case. A sequel to Samurai Summer. Nice. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vask came to Global. Five years ago. Yeah, there's kind of a theme in this game of stuff that happened X number of years ago being super important all of a sudden. Um, this is, I think, the first time, but there'll be more. October 19th, Global Studios, Main Gate. The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick? I think our guard's down. Y yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station, if we wanted. You eat, you die. Woo, she's alive! Um, I was wondering about Dee Vask, the producer? Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. So she always gets away. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal, he's soft, a pushover, does whatever Vask tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. I don't know. I mean, Fediverse personality dirt's pretty cute. So. About Mr. Hammer. Arr! I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer, you drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief. I-I-I-I-I I won't forget this. Oh, she's really pissed this time. Well, I like to use the word pissed, really? Alright. You listen to me, Whippersnap, my poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Powers as costumes that could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low, it's impossible! Uh, that's all she's got to say. Uh, let's just make our way into the employee area, I guess. October 19th, Global Studios, employee area. I guess they're not filming today, either. I did want to see them filming, just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other... Bleh, let me try that again. I wonder if there are any other clues lying around. Yeah. No, 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 no touching! Eek! Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. It didn't mean? I almost had a heart attack! <laughs> uh, I guess it can be a little dramatic at times. Did he just mean to say dramatic or dra dra dramatic? Or I don't know. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. Ahem. Anyway, I'm here to examine that plate on the table. The plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. So you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to those sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it'll change colour. Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed colour, alright. So 
so the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Steak plate added to the court record. I go through investigation. Tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers, and some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. How is Edgeworth doing, anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room, and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups? Bottles? Say, what have happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, it sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Sleeping pill bottle added to the court record. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? Why? But WP's innocent! Y yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done, but... This week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah, uh, Miss Vask, that producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything, he said, she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt, you know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. Film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? But what do you mean, this lost steel samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No, no! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. W what Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? The Studio Bigwigs don't want Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand. But how can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true! If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure! N nick say something! Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Well, I reckon this, uh... Path to Glory scrapbook is probably a pretty good evidence of how much the kids love the Steel Samurai, so... Take that. And this is? A fan collected all of these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay. What can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. We're getting in into the into the real stuff now, folks. <laughs> Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago someone died and it was Hammer's fault. 
someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vask, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer? That's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vask asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks, we'll try asking her. If she'll talk. Yeah, this, uh, this incident five years ago is really important. What, you're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think their Global Studio is what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Is she? Maybe we should keep a safe distance? She looks fine to me. Um... I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols. N Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. That assistant we talked to. Oh, oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Well, maybe. I mean... Penny didn't tell you that who got killed. Like, why would you assume it was a man? But whippersnappers! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? N no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. I do have proof. I'm sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. We've got the sleeping pills, and we got the steak, so yeah. Here's my proof. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. Well, what does that prove? I, I'm sure old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's your proof that he used those pills on Powers? This plate. Mr. Powers had a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer, rest your soul. Ms. Oldbag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? I'm tired of holding it all in. Ms. Oldbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vask. She has ties to the mafia. Ma ma the mafia? Mafia? Really now? She has ties to the mafia. Okay. <laughs> she silenced that paparazzi. Permanently? My goodness. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Miss Oldbag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbag. Here, take this. A photograph? But wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor, and the man fell into the flower box fence. But, but how did you get this? It, it was a long time ago. I don't feel much about much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old photo added to the court record. So that's an important piece of evidence we just got. Um, we're gonna head this way now. October 19th, Studio One entrance. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. 
Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer? We can't get into Studio 1 because we gave our card key away yesterday, but we can go to your Studio 2, no problem. October 19, Studio 2 entrance. Hey Nick, it's Miss Fask. Hello. H-E-L-L-O. H-E-L-L-O. But Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Um, excuse me? Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder, and... Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh, dear. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You... you did it! Nick, she did it! She's the killer! <laughs> oh my god, Maya. <laughs> my fey blood speaks to me! I know it! I know it! Oh dear. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella. You must talk about that man. Perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer. By yourselves. Oh, oh dear. Okay, I believe what we have to do at this point is be the worst investigator ever again. By which I mean, we have to take this uh, piece of evidence, which is pretty important and pretty incriminating for Miss Vask, and we need to give it to her. Just like in the previous case. She's not even looking. Where? But what? Where did you get that? I, well, old bag. Uh, old? She means the security lady, Ms. Oldbagnik. Right, anyway. Miss Fusk, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The, huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. So yeah, we're, we're, we're showing her the evidence that incriminates her, because we're really bad at our job. <laughs> hmm, you came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why are you so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Fask, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids' shows for Petty Change. Hmm. So I'm a blackmailer now? Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident, but he used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But, but, you were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Hmm. Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But, but the security lady said it was an accident. Oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me, now. But what? This is valuable evidence! 
boys. <laughs> here's, here's my mafiolios. <laughs> uh, um, who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? <laughs> what? The trial ends tomorrow? How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vask care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. No! Hold it right there. I heard everything, pal. Devask, you're coming down to the precinct with me now. Hmm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then, in court. I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Okay, I've got one more job to do, de to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Well, Nick. Looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? Devask. And that's the end of that investigation segment. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you especially enjoyed Phoenix being the worst investigator of all time again. Uh, next time, the final trial segment. Look forward to it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.